Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. I've got a 15 minute session I'm doing for a client. I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. We're gonna be diving into a past life today. I'll read the client goals here in just a moment. I wanna thank you, big thank you to the client for this opportunity. Can't wait to see what we discover. Thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. There's gonna be a lot that we're gonna learn from you. Okay, I'm gonna read your goals and then we're gonna get started. So you say, I would like to know a past life that is going to inspire me to love myself more. Okay. I'm not sure what's gonna come up with this. It could be a very beautiful past life or it could be a traumatizing past life. It's important that you look at it and you know that you're given the love that you need to let it go. And then that boomerangs into this nucleus of a moment and it just starts to help you feel much brighter and much freer. It, it's hard to say how I'm gonna be navigating this. So I'm just gonna close my eyes, put it out to the universe and we'll see what echoes back, okay? All right, a past life to help you love yourself more. Okay. All right. This is very interesting. It's gonna be hard to wrap my head around it. Let's just start with this. There's a lot of uh, greenery everywhere, almost like vines, like greenery. It's not familiar grass. It seems like clover is actually connected to vines that sort of have clovers all over them. They're really thick too. It was like drapes of vines everywhere. Like everything is just draped in vines. There's a picture of a big massive being that's dragging another being that's a lot smaller by the foot, the ankle, just dragging them and they're on their face, their belly being dragged into a location. And it's not so much about this picture, it's about the one that sees this picture. <laughs> and I see a representation of what could potentially be yourself, I don't know yet, that there's someone that is sitting here amidst the vines. There's so many vines, it's just like, there are vines everywhere, even the sky seems to be full of vines. This person has, it seems like, just a black energy being, but wears a garment that's a really dark bluish purple. Even has a hat on. Hmm. The hat has a really wide brim. Doesn't look like a cowboy hat. <laughs> if you were thinking cowboy hat, it doesn't look like a wizard's hat. It's kind of floppy though, the brim is. This being sitting cross-legged. Something is pretty impressive here about the ability to pick up on echoes. Is it possible that these vines are kind of like wires into the universe? Like back in the day, you'd have the operator and she'd have this plug go in here and this plug go in there and all these plugs to connect this with that. Transfer this call over here. It just, it kind of makes me think of that, like these vines somehow support a connection, like a wired connection to the universe. They like were picking up on the information through the vines themselves. You're looking for something and you're in this space. You're looking specifically for an echo. You can't seem to find it. You can't find it. It's odd. It's as if it's the same question I'm asking is, what is it that you're looking for? Like, what is going to help you love yourself more? What is it that you're looking for? Is it, is it a life that is absolutely beautiful where you're, let's say you're talented and you make a big difference or maybe you're adored by many. It just gives you a, a feeling of, of pure love or 
um, of value in a society of any kind, um, maybe it's a very traumatizing life that your soul can't really let go of. So there's a sort of lingering wound uh, that you, you might feel for a day, on a day-to-day -day basis in this lifetime. And to be able to truly see that, understand it, and let it go, then the wound isn't there. Now this feeling isn't there. Now it's, it's not a burden or a challenge or you don't have to try to love yourself because there's nothing in the way of doing that. So it seems to me that you are seeking for an answer that you're trying to define the parameters. And so I'm here to define the parameters for you in a way, but something of your path... <laughs> I'm not sure what the parameters are yet. Like, I'm not sure what it is that you seek yet, which might also parallel with where you're at with what you seek, which might be a path of self-discovery and learning, not just a swift answer. Bam, here you go. Okay, perfect. Problems are solved. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so let's go back to that. I'm just going to call it a giant and then a little man, okay? <laughs> Kind of fairy tale like. Okay, well the giant is uh, has kind of a, a brownish, but it, what I like about the hair on the head is short. Doesn't seem like it ever grows longer than this. Kind of sticks out in every direction, maybe an inch or two um, off the head, and it's very kind of ogre humanoid looking, a big massive body. Okay, heavy steps. And it's something about its skin, it's got this like brownish greenish hue to it. Its hair has got like this brownish kind of orangish. I love how it, uh, the sun reflects off of it. It's something about the color of the hair is really beautiful. But it all seems to blend together, almost the hair color, the eye color, the skin color. I don't know why, but it, I just keep looking at this ogre-y um, big giant being and I, I see beauty. I see true beauty. I see this is a very small man here, like like a fairy tale type story. And this man is I don't know what maybe he's a regular sized man, but it doesn't say that. It says that he's small, like three feet tall, kind of small. Okay. And this really gives you the impression that this ogre is taking this man to its cave where he's going to eat the man, grind its bones for its meal or whatever. It's like a fee fi fo fum or something. This man is wearing just a, I don't know, his pants are like a, they're on the green end of blue, okay? There's a, something nice about the greenish blue pants and this sort of dark uh, purpley blue shirt. It's got buttons on the front that are golden. This uh, small man has a white blonde hair. He doesn't seem to be alive. Okay, well, we're in the cave, and the ogre... Okay, this is disturbing. The ogre has a humongous sort of... Um, it's got a curvature on this big sword, um, and it actually just cuts this man like... It's so sharp. Cuts this man in two pieces instantly. Like, it cuts him in two pieces. And like I said, the, this man isn't alive. There's no response to that at all. I mean, we're right down the butt crack, okay? <laughs> like, two pieces, okay? <laughs> it's kind of weird. I just, it's just like a very weird picture. <laughs> okay, this ogre has a female here as well. Similar appearance. The hair is really curly. It's actually longer. Same color. Oh, she takes one and he takes one. So they each half this a hundred percent, like hundred percent in half, 50, 50. Like they, this is split exactly 50, 50. Not 51, 49. 50-50. There's no thought about it. There's no feeling of... I mean, they, they'll bite right on into the bones. 
It's a really good meal, just so you know. I, mean, I, I feel their pleasantness with this. I feel this is very fulfilling, okay? <laughs> I feel that there's not like, maybe I need to go vegan or something. No, it's just like, this is normal. This is very fulfilling. I see these two are soulmates so that when one looks into the other's eyes, eyes it, they see themself that they see the other so it, it, it's hard to explain like um this male ogre looks into this female ogre's eyes and this male ogre sees perfectly this female ogre who also reflects perfectly this male ogre okay and vice versa it's 50 50 it's but it's like a hundred percent somehow like this is a hundred percent connection this is a 100% equal balance connection. I don't even know if I, I could explain that more precisely, but I feel like this is still not precise enough to explain it. <laughs> I see that when the female's heart has a communication, the male's heart has the communication as well. I see that they're so paired, it's almost like they think and feel and share equally, even of the heart and the emotions and their thoughts and feelings. Like, it, it's not a hive mind scenario, it's just complete pairing. It's a completely balanced soulmate connection. It might even be true to this species that that is what partnership is like that that's natural partnership. All of a sudden, the love, like they show me the love is in waves of a sort of brownish golden light. It's got like flecks of orange in it and it's very beautiful to you. And you remember yourself because you, I don't know which one is you, is the male you, is the female you. It's very familiar to you about what love is about what true love is. It's not about the appearance or the food or the, the living, the house. Or the, it's not about how other people can love you or not love you. It's just the bonded connection. I see your eyes are open and you're looking at this and you want to be this male ogre. You want to be this female ogre. You want to be um, connected like this. You want to feel this. It's, it's, it's what's echoing back here about you being able to love yourself because somebody could love you genuinely, truly, completely. <laughs> like that the male ogre looks into the female ogre's eyes to see the female ogre to see the male ogre. Like that someone could look into your eyes to see you than to see themselves and vice versa so wholly, so precisely, it's, it's unimaginably fulfilling. Like, it's beautiful. So, there's an importance here to the space with the vines, by the way, and the strange being. It's almost like you are seeking to see yourself for who you truly are. Are you an ogre monster that eats the three feet tall little beings? Maybe somewhere, yes. Does that make you ugly? Does that make you beautiful? What makes you beautiful or ugly? And these are complex questions for self-reflection, but your soul knows the way. Your soul knows the way. You know the way. So sometimes we think, well... Boy, if only I could know what my soul knows. <laughs> so to say that, it kind of cuts you out of it. But no, you know the way. Your soul knows the way you know the way. Ask the universe if there's anything else here to share about what we've witnessed and what we're talking about that's really going to help you just that much more. <sighs> I 
it's allowing yourself to see, allowing yourself to be present with, in their heart, this vision. And to almost savor the meaning of it inside yourself and to know that this is real and the universe knows what you seek. You also know what you seek. And this is what you seek to know today. This is going to help you with your goals here to love yourself. So that's what I've got. <laughs> wow, I, you just don't know. You just never know, right? Thank you so much for sharing this with us. I feel really moved by that. I had no idea it was gonna go there. It was really beautiful. Now for those watching, if you would like me to explore a goal of yours, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, have a great day, everybody.